Konnichiwa and hello everyone. Welcome to the basic Japanese class for beginners. I hope by now you are a little familiar with the Japanese alphabet, with Japanese words, with kanji, with hiragana and I am sure we learn a lot more things during our 40 lectures here. You will get to know a lot about Japanese culture, about Japanese people also. But today, first of all, we will do the assignments that I had given you in the previous class. So, let us do our assignments. I hope you have done them. Ohayou gozaimasu. Sore dewa hajime masho. Do you understand this? Ohayou gozaimasu, of course, you know, I am sure. Ohayou gozaimasu means good morning. Sore dewa hajime masho. Let's begin now. I had given you in your first assignment to count things here from 1 to 10. So, now one thing I want to tell you is that there are pictures here, but in Japanese when you count things, you count in a lot of different ways. For example, if you are counting long objects, you are counting flat objects, you are counting small animals, you are counting big animals, you will count them, you count people, you count them all in different ways. So, over here I have just listed, I have just put randomly some pictures for you, so that you can just practice your numbers from 1 to 10. It is not any method of counting, it is just a practice of numbers. So, please keep that in mind. That is the main reason we are not naming the objects over here, we are just counting from 1 to 10. Ichi as you saw was already there, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Q, Ju. So, we are not naming the objects listed here, shown here, we are just counting from 1 till 10. Your next assignment is this picture where you were to name the objects shown in the picture. So, well the objects are here for you, Hoki, Hoki, Wine Grass, Wine Grass, Chess Board, Chess Board, Okashi, Okashi, Okashi is snacks, Hana, Hana and in the end we have spoon, spoon, fork, fork. Then in B we have how many things are there in the picture. So, you are supposed to tell how many things are actually there, the things that you have named. So, well there are six things in the picture. We will go on to the next uh, assignment. Again, it was just to name the objects. Basically, what we are doing here is we are practicing vocabulary, which will help you make sentences later on when you are doing conversation. So, well, the first one is Kame, as you can see, Ashi. You can repeat after me Ashi. Teppo, Ju, 
神社神社竹竹竹 is bamboo かぼちゃかぼちゃすし、すし。Well, すし、you can see is very interesting. It's a delicacy and it is made out of rice balls and raw fish or we could say raw seafood. You can see a lot of things put on rice balls and you eat it with sauce. It's a delicacy and it's liked a lot by foreigners as well. Terebi. Terebi. Ichigo. I'm sure all of you like Ichigo. Ichigo. Kuchi. Kuchi. Kushi. And Sempuki. Well, now I had given you some pictures and from the pictures you were to tell where the person is from and what is the name of the person's country. So, well, you can see from the picture that this person is not Indian or Oriental and looks from either Europe or the US. So, over here it is written Doitsu which is Germany and Doitsu Jin. German. So, Doitsu kara des, Doitsu jin des. In a similar manner, we have these three pictures here America kara des, America jin des, Chugoku kara des, Chugoku jin des. You can make out from the kimono that the lady is wearing that she is from Japan. Nihon kara des, Nihon jin des, and of course, India, Indo kara des, Indo jin des. So, these were your exercises for last week. I hope you did them properly. Now, just for pronunciation practice, so that you get used to the sounds, your tongue gets used to the sounds, you understand hiragana, we will just practice these randomly put hiragana. You can repeat after me please, a i u e, pa pi pa pu. O i u e, he hi hu ho, kaki ku ke, tachi tsute. Keki ku ko, techi tsuto, sashi suse, neni nuno, sushi sase. Nani nanu, tachi tsuto, mami mume, t 
とチータツ。メミモモダジズドマミムメバビバブガギグゲバビブボゲギグゴパピプポザジズゾそれは、今日の日本人は、今日の日本人は、With these sounds, which are initially a little strange, but then you just get used to them and they sound very normal. Now we have done about 46 syllables so far. We have done the first set of hiragana. Now today we will do the second set of hiragana, which is actually not very difficult because it is made from. With the help of, it is made with the help of the first set. I will write it down for you once and then we will do the vocabulary over here. You remember doing the K sound? I am sure you remember doing the K sound. Ka, ki, ku. K and ko. Then we did sa, shi, su, se, and so. Then the third set we did was ta. Ta, chi, su, te, and to. So, well, now we will do with the help of this, we will do another set today, which is the ga set, the g sound, which is a slightly nasal sound. So, just by adding two symbols over here from ka, you can make it into ga. Ga, gi, gu, ge, and go. So, you could repeat after me, please. Ga, gi, gu, ge, and go. The vocabulary for ga is gakki. Gakki is a musical instrument. Gakki. And gaijin. You remember the word gaijin? We did gaijin in lesson 2. So, well, gaijin is a foreigner. Then we have gi, ginko. Ginko is a bank. And gishi, gishi is an engineer. Gu, Gunjin, Gunjin is a soldier. Gurab, Gurab for gloves. You will notice that this is written in Katakana because it is a foreign word. Ge, Genkan, Genkan is the main entrance of the house, the main door of the house. Geta, Geta is wooden sandals. Which the Japanese wear? Go. 
go is goma, sesame and gomi, gomi is garbage. Now, again, we did in the first set sa, she, su, se and so. Just by adding this symbol over here, we get the z sound that is za, ji, zu, ze and zo. Just by adding these two over here in the sa set, we get the za sound. You will notice that g is a little different. This is an exception. Please remember. Now to the vocabulary part. Za, zangyo. Zangyo is overtime, as you can see. Zashi. Zashi is magazine. Jinja. Jinja. You can see the meanings over here in English. Jinko. Jinko population. Zubon. Zurui. Zurui is cunning. Zembu. Zembu. Zeikin. And in the end we have zo, zo, elephant and zori, zori are flat sandals which the Japanese wear. Now interestingly as I told you earlier, for a long sound you can write o, o as in zo which is elephant as you saw just now. You can also write Z O with a bar on top which again means it is a long sound and you can also write Zo, Zo which again also means a, it is a shows that it is a long sound. So, all these will be listed for you so that you are familiar with it. You can choose whichever you want and you can use it when you are writing. Now, we did the ta series, the t series earlier. Now, by just putting this sign again, it becomes the d series da, g, zu, zu, de, and do, da, g. Zu, de and do. Now, you will see that this is actually it has come over here. So, this set is not used that much. This again is being used over here. So, this set is not used. So, these two symbols which you see are actually not used in hiragana when you are writing. So, we have da, ji, zu, de and do. Please remember that. We will come to the vocabulary. Daikon. Danchi. The meanings are given right here. Jibiki. Jibiki. Jisho, Zu. We have nothing with Zu over here. De, Denva, Denchi, Do 
Coro. Dorobo. Now, you remember doing the H sound or ha, he, who, he, and ho. I hope you remember this. Well, now it is a little different from here. Ha changes to the B sound which is ba. Ba, B, Bu, Be, and Bo. Ba, B, Bu, Be, and Bo. We will do the vocabulary. Bara. Baikin, Video, Bijin, Buta, Buncho. B. Bengoshi. Bento. And we have bo in the end. Boku. Boku is informal for watashi, which you have already done, but boku is only to be used by men by males, not by girls. Bochi, bochi is a graveyard as you can see. Ba, bi, bu, be, bo. Then in the end, the same ha sound which, which we made into ba. We will put another symbol over here and make it into pa, the p sound. Pa, p, pu, pe, and po. So, we will do this uh, vocabulary very, very quickly over here for pa as well. Pan, Panya, Pizza, I am sure you like pizza all of you, Pink and the girls will be liking this color pink, Purashchik, Pur. So, you can see the long sound is denoted by this dash over here in katakana as well as in roman and all these words are in katakana again because they are foreign words. Penki, penchi and po, po is posto, your male and Potto. Potto could be anything, it could be a teapot, it could be a kettle, it could be a simple pot, any pot is a potto in Japanese. Well, we are through with our hiragana set and now you can see that we did 46 symbols in the first set, 46 sounds in the first set and today we have done 25 in the second set and in all we have 71 symbols or sounds in 
hiragana. So please remember all your sounds because you will be making a lot of words with them and we will be requiring them to make new words every day. Now, today we will do something new. You have done some construction, some sentences we have made, some grammar we have done today. As you are all students, you, you have said that you are students, your names are so and so, my name is this, I am a student. So, now you would also like to tell your friends what your specialization is what you have majored in, what you are studying. So, well, what is your specialization? Specialization or your major or your subject is Senmon, which you are studying. So, Senmon wa nandeska, that is what we are going to do today. Uh, well, before I actually give you the conversation, I would like you to listen to this audio. I know you will not be able to understand most of it, but I am also sure that you will at least be able to recognize a few words from the audio. So, please listen carefully to the audio and then we will go to the actual conversation. Shitsure desu ga o namae wa nan desu ka? Rao desu. Rao san wa daigakuse desu ka? Hai so desu. Senman wa butsuri gaku desu. Watashi no senmon mo butsuri gaku desu. Tanaka san wa nan nensei desu ka? San nensei desu. Rao san wa? Watashi wa ni nensei desu. So this is what you actually heard. Well, I will read it now for you. This is a conversation between Tanaka san and Rao san, two people, and they are just talking somewhere and have already met probably because the usual first time meeting conversation is not there, which is Hajime Mashite Dozo Yoroshiku. So, well, they are just talking. I will read it out to you now. I will not read the names, please. Shitsure desu ga o namae wa nan desu ka? Rao desu. Rao san wa daigakusei desu ka? Hai, so desu. Senmon wa butsuri gaku desu. Watashi no senmon mo butsuri gaku desu. Tanaka san wa nan nensei desu ka? San nensei desu. Rao san wa watashi wa ni nensei desu. So, well, this is a simple conversation. You have already done Shitsure desu ga. Shitsure desu ga, as you know, means I am sorry, but I am going to ask you something very directly and you put up a question. So, Shitsure desu ga o namae wa nan desu ka? You have done o namae, which means name. Wa, of course, is a particle which you have done, which is a subject particle. Nan is a question word, which means what? This, of course, is the verb part and ka is the question which makes a simple sentence into a question or an interrogative statement. So, well, shitsure desu ga o namae wa nan desu ka? Rao desu. The answer is rao desu. Rao san wa daigakusei desu ka? Rao san wa daigakusei desu ka? Daigakusei is a university student or a graduate student. Dai means big, a big place of learning. Are you a student of that place? Daigakusei desu ka? Hai, so desu. So desu means, yes, that you are right. Now, this new word senmon. Senmon means specialization. Senmon wa butsuri gaku desu. Senmon again because you are talking about your senmon, about your specialization. So, senmon wa butsuri gaku this butsuri gaku is physics watashi no senmon mo butsuri gaku desu now a new particle for you no and mo so first we will do no particle no shows 
possession shows belonging to a certain person it is of a certain person something belongs to someone noun 1 wa noun 2 no this noun 1 wa noun 2 no this noun 1 can be anything pen n pitsu toke kaban kuruma wa again noun 2 could be any person tanaka san watashi imoto sensei oka oka san no this so pen wa tanaka san no this pen belongs to tanaka san enpitsu wa imoto no this enpitsu wa imoto no this enpitsu belongs to imoto tokei wa watashi no this tokei wa watashi no this the tokei is mine is that okay so it basically means mine yours and ours particle no always shows possession belonging to ownership of something as you can see it's written over here something is a possession of someone and it always follows a noun or a pronoun kaban wa watashi no desu isu wa gakkou no desu the isu belongs to the school hon wa rao san no desu as is written over here hon wa rao san no desu megane now this megane belongs to me doesn't it so well megane wa watashi no desu does it belong to you no it doesn't belong to you it belongs to me so it is mine watashi no megane desu megane wa watashi no desu hai then we go back over here now in the first line shitsure desu ga o namae wa nan desu ka now we did this word this question word nan nan so you will see that nan and nani are two question words two interrogative words and they mean exactly the same they are they are similar words you can read over here and are equivalent to what in english what in english the only difference with these words is that nan and nani are used at different places nan is to be used uh, with the numbers one second it is to be used before words starting with either d n or t all other places you will notice later on as we have just done only one over here only one sentence with nan later on you will see that nani is to be used in all other cases also you noticed over there you must have noticed in the uh, conversation that o is given we have done this honorific o last time also this is to show politeness to show respect to the other person and generally is used with namae and kuni kuni is country namae is name so when you are asking someone's name please say o namae wa nan desu ka and if you want to know someone's country well you will say o kuni wa dochira desu ka as we did last time but please remember this also that for your own name you will never use o namae you will always use namae and for your own country you will never say o kuni but you will say kuni 
So, please remember that watashi no kuni wa indo desu. Watashi no kuni wa indo desu. Anata no o kuni wa dochira desu ka? Please remember that. Well, this is your conversation in English. It is a translation. Senmon wa nan desu ka? So, well, you just go over it and I am sure you will understand it is not such a difficult conversation. We have done everything in the conversation in class here. Well, this is your conversation in the script. Okay. So, now we go back to know you can practice with a lot of words here I have given for practice. For example, you could put watashi no pen desu, watashi no enpitsu desu. You can repeat after me please, watashi no kaban desu, watashi no shousetsu desu, watashi no kyokasho desu. Shousetsu is a novel, kyokasho is a textbook, watashi no kyokasho desu, watashi no kagi, kagi is as you have seen kagi wa keys, so watashi no kagi desu, watashi no kasa desu, kasa is an umbrella, watashi no kasa desu, watashi no megane desu as I told you earlier, watashi no megane desu. So, now what you can do is with no, we just now did watashi no pen this, just pen as I told you. Once again we can practice as we did over here. Instead of watashi, you can put any name you want as we did over there and you can just use it with pen or you can put list a number of nouns over here, number of things and say watashi no pen desu, tomodachi no pen desu, tomodachi no kaban desu, tanaka san no kuruma desu, any of this and you can practice at home. You will see it is listed over here, watashi no pen desu. So, now you can also use two no's. For example, as is given over here, watashi no tomodachi, watashi no tomodachi, my friend, no pen desu, watashi no tomodachi no pen desu, tanaka san no okusan, okusan is wife, tanaka san no okusan no pen desu. I will write it down for you over here, watashi no tomo Dachi Tanaka san no okusan sensei no okasan no pen desu. So, you have two no's over here, this no over here and this no over here. So, you have relationship very clearly stated watashi no tomodachi no pen, my friends pen. Tomodachi no okasan no pen desu, otousan no tomodachi no pen desu, sensei no pen desu, a simple relationship over here, sensei no pen desu, watashi no sensei no pen desu, only my teacher not your teacher, watashi no sensei no pen desu. Now, there is a small dialogue over here, Tanaka san wa gakusei desu ka? Hai, so desu. Kim san mo gakusei desu ka? Hai, watashi wa 
土木工学の学生です。田中さんの専門は何ですか？私の専門は科学です。So well, this is a dialogue between Kim San and Tanaka San, and you can very clearly understand what they are saying. Tanaka San wa gakusei desu ka? Are you a student? Hi, I am a student. Kim San is also a student. Hi, watashi wa doboku kogaku no gakusei desu. I am a civil engineering student. Tanaka San no senmon wa nan desu ka? Now, senmon wa nan desu ka? Watashi no senmon wa kagaku desu, which is chemistry. So, this is how you can ask someone's senmon. This is the translation of the kaiwa in English, and you also have it written here in the script. And the important part in this conversation is senmon, which we are going to practice now. Now, for practice, we have it right here for you. Watashi no senmon wa kagaku desu. Or watashi no senmon wa kagaku dewa arimasen. We did dewa arimasen lesson 3. So, please remember you can say this and you can also say dewa arimasen. Watashi no senmon wa butsuri gaku desu. Or butsuri gaku dewa arimasen. Watashi no senmon wa sugaku desu. Or sugaku dewa arimasen. Watashi no senmon wa bungaku desu. Or watashi no senmon wa bungaku dewa arimasen. So please you can do the same thing for all the others. Hogaku, igaku, kenchiku, keizai gaku. Or keizai also is used. Joho kogaku. So any of these you can use as the pattern does not change. Watashi no senmon wa my specialization is whatever. Now you can also ask what is your senmon. By just adding ka in the end. So, Tanaka san no senmon wa nan desu ka? And instead of Tanaka, you can put any of these nouns over here. Instead of Tanaka, you can say anata, you can use oka san, you can use imoto, you can use tomodachi, and you can also use ototo or any other noun that you want to. Tanaka may be replaced with words given below. Tanaka san no ok san no senmon wa kagaku desu. And you can also put a ka over here. And you can ask Tanaka san no ok san no senmon wa kagaku desu ka? If it is kagaku, hai kagaku desu. If it is not kagaku, iie kagaku dewa arimasen. So you can have a small conversation over there. In a similar manner, Tanaka san no tomodachi no o namae wa nan desu ka? You can ask a simple question. Now, if you remember in the dialogue, Tanaka says, Watashi no senmon mo butsuri gaku desu. Now, this particle mo, this is new. Particle mo, this is a new particle, it means also or too. Even. Okay. So, if I say watashi wa indojin desu, watashi wa indojin desu, I am Indian. If you are also Indian, you can say watashi mo indojin desu. So, watashi wa indojin desu. Simple statement that we have done. Now, this has been said once. Watashi wa indojin desu. Now, if you are also Indian, then you can say Watashi mo indojin desu. I am also Indian. So, now you will notice that if you have to use particle 
particle mo which is which means also or two then a statement has to be given first a statement has to be there something has to be said which you are repeating watashi wa indojin desu watashi mo indojin desu i am also an indian watashi wa gakusei desu so in place of indo this noun indo you can put gakusei you can use bengoshi all the vocabulary that you have done for profession for what you are doing for your senmon for where you belong to what country you come from you can put any of these and say watashi mo it could be gakusei it could be indian indo it could be bengoshi anything it can be used but you have to remember only one thing that wa has to be a statement has to be made first with wa and then only mo can be said it is used in affirmative interrogative and negative sentences over here you can see watashi no senmon wa kagaku desu imoto no senmon mo kagaku desu so you can please read all of this as you can see tanaka san wa indo jin desu watashi mo indo jin desu tanaka san wa ni nensei desu neha san mo ni nensei desu ni nensei is ni is two as you have done nen is year and sei is a student so i am a second year student tanaka san is a second year student neha san is also a second year student tomodachi wa gakusei desu watashi no tomodachi mo gakusei desu my friend is also a student imoto san no senmon wa nan desu ka imoto no senmon wa keizai desu a simple conversation well there was a small phrase over there so this you have done it once so this means that's right what you are saying is correct and arigato i am sure as you already know is thank you very much now we did numbers last time from 30 to 31 to 50 today we will do numbers from 50 to 60 and 60 to 70 so very very quickly for you goju ichi you can repeat after me goju ichi goju ni goju san goju shi or goju yon goju go Goju roku, goju nana, goju hachi, goju kyu, and roku kyu. I hope you will remember all of this. Lot of new vocabulary I can see, but well, we need to do all that because we want to make. some good sentences some good conversation we want to do so well this is from 61 rokuju ichi rokuju ni rokuju san rokuju yon rokuju go Rokujiu roku, rokujiu nana, rokujiu hachi, rokujiu kyu, nana jiu. So all of it is listed over here in Roman, in hiragana. and in kanji characters especially hiragana is listed for you so that you can 
memorize the hiragana characters, memorize the kanji characters and then you are able to write very nicely later on. Next we did kanji I believe till 6 roku. Now we will do from roku onwards till 10. So, first of all we will do nana. Nana is just two strokes. I will just make it for you. Nana. Nana. So, one and two. Nana. Then comes Hachi. Hachi is very simple. Four fingers like this and four fingers like this makes it eight. So, eight is very very simple like this Hachi. Hachi. Then we have Q, Q or Q. Q is the strongest of the single digits. So, it comes from this part, this part like this Q. Okay. So, it is made like this Q and then very simple Ju. Ju. These are your numbers. Please remember Nana, Hachi, Q and Ju. Is it ok? Once again Nana, you can repeat after me Hachi, Q and Ju. All are two stroke kanjis over here you will see. You have done four strokes and five strokes earlier, but all these this set is all two strokes. Now, this is simple vocabulary. The meanings are given on the right side, hiragana in the center and in blue is all the new vocabulary for you. Please learn it at home. Akachan. Kodomo. Onna no ko. Otoko no ko. And you can see it means a boy. Oka san. It is a long sound. Oto san. Imoto. Ototo. One san. And over here, younger sister and elder sister. The kanji characters, the pictograms are different. Oni san, elder brother, and again you have Ototo and Oni san, and the kanji characters, the pictograms are again different. Obasan. Oji san. Ok san. And please Oku san. So, the ku is silent over here. So, please these are all this is all new vocabulary which you can use when you are uh, using the particle no, it will come very handy. So, please learn this vocabulary. Now, in the end, we
we have your assignments, it is your homework now. Practice by changing the underlined words with options given below. It is a very simple assignment. Suzuki san wa America kara desu ka? Iie, so de wa arimasen. Watashi wa Nihon kara desu. And then you have A, B, C, D, Anata, Otosan, Tomodachi, Sensei, and France, Kankoku, which is Korea, Spain, and Thai, which is Thailand. So, please practice by changing the underlined words with options given below. You have the names and the name of places, you need to replace those with the options. Then practice with your partner by replacing country and senmon with words given below. So, you have America, Doitsu, Thai, Indo, Italia, France, Ego, Nihongo, Computer, Kikai Kogaku, Kagaku, Keizai. You can replace them properly, read the conversation. I am sure you will understand all of it. It is not very difficult. All of it we have covered in the lesson. So, you can replace these place names with place names here in the um, conversation and your specialization, your subject names with words here underlined where subject is required. And now, we have had a long class. So, well, I will finish here. Sore de wa minasan arigato. Kore de owarimasu. So, well, thank you everyone. Let us finish here today and we will join again, meet again tomorrow for our next class. So, minasan mata ashita aimashou. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you.